Hotel Zachary is a distinctive boutique hotel located just across from Wrigley Field. Today we are getting a, a taste of the award-winning cocktail being added to its menu. And Bar Supervisor Josue Mancero joins us now with more. And we love you were just telling us how this is really a love story to the architect of Wrigley Field. Yeah, so we're going to be making two cocktails today. Uh, one, it's the Mango Tepachuco, which is the one that won the award. That one is like a memory for me when I was a child growing in Chicago. Uh, there's a traditional desert called a mango niada. Mm -hmm. It's like a frozen mango ice cream. Ooh. Ooh, and then yeah. with chamoy and chili on top and mango pieces. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to like replicate that into a cocktail. Mm -hmm. um, and the other one is the Love Alma, which is a signature drink that we have at the hotel since we opened. And it's in memory to Alma. Alma was married to Zachary, which designed Wrigley Field. Mm -hmm. And the uh, hotel is an inspiration to him. Mm -hmm. So the bar is an inspiration to his wife, Alma. That's so, so cute. Alma. All right, so as we're getting started on yeah. the cocktails, we should, we should say congratulations to you because uh, you won the award for this cocktail. Cocktail. Yeah, so um, we submitted a video uh, with a cocktail recipe and I got picked to be a finalist, so then we did like a showdown, uh, be in front of 500 people in a convention where the like award ceremony happened. That's okay. so cool. So, so what is in this? Yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna get started with the mango tepachuco. Okay. Uh, it has two ounces of tequila. We're using a blanco tequila uh, by Dovel. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna do uh, three quarters of an ounce of a poblano liqueur. Mm, never heard of that before. Is that really spicy? No, so it's more for flavor than anything. Uh, poblano has a bring a lot of flavor, mm -hmm. and it kind of like gives the umame chili flavor that we're looking for in this cocktail. Mm -hmm. Then I just put uh, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice, mm -hmm. and then this right here is a mango and orange shrub that we do. A shrub is a uh, kind of like a syrup that is vinegar base. Oh. So we use fresh mango puree. Uh, oranges that we recycled. Um, we use a lot of peels for cocktails for expression, so yeah. peeled oranges. I puree them and then I turn them into like a vinegar syrup to be like sustainable and have like a working program that oh. like uh, we have zero waste in the hotel. Oh, oh that's that. nice. Yes. Okay, and I bet um, it has a lot of botanicals in it because when you do the peel, yep. you're getting a lot of the oil. Correct. And we also spice it up with a little bit of like cinnamon, uh, clove, we put some herbs Ooh. and things like that to bring it to life. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna shake this over ice really hard. Mm -hmm. Gotta get it nice and full. Oh yeah, I gotta get it real chill. Yeah. And you said this is the, that drink right here. Yep. Okay. It's red though. Um, so we're gonna go about that. Okay. The, <laughs> the glass has uh, tahini. I in love tahini. Oh, yes. Tahini yes. is a blend of like dried chili peppers mm -hmm. and some salt. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add some rice to this. I love the fact that you went all up and down the glass yes. with the tahini. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see somebody in the bar just going like this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. It's like a there. Yeah, <laughs> you can do it if you want to. Yeah. Okay, so it's okay, yellow so it now, but out, you're, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we must be getting ready to add something else to it. Yep. And then we're gonna finish up with the uh, house tepache that we make in house. Uh -huh. A tepache. So a tepache is like a pineapple fermented drink. Oh. Uh, we use the skins on the core of the pineapple with some brown sugar, um, and then you let it ferment naturally, mm -hmm. kind of like creating like a kombucha type beverage. Yeah. Uh, natural fermentation. So it's healthy. Yeah, I, I know. We're always <laughs> looking for the healthy advantage. Yeah, right. It has very little alcohol to it. Okay. Um, and it's delicious. And we spice this one up with cinnamon and hibiscus. Ooh, nice. So mm. just gonna top it off. Mm, and it makes it a that. pretty color. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Mm. Oh, I like yeah. that. Quite a bit of it in there. Yeah. Okay. And then we just stir it up. And oh, no. Oh, it okay, so it's like a tequila yeah. sunrise. You want to do this one? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. kind of like a tequila Here. sunrise. Cheers. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Yum. All right. You really got about a little over a minute left, so we can probably. Yeah. This next one. Mm. The other one, it's very easy. It's only three ingredients. Oh, that's um, good. Actually, four ingredients. We're going to use two ounces of bourbon. Should I do this? Yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna do three quarters uh, ounce of lemon. Mm. Uh, there you go. Then we do a strawberry and basil syrup. Mm. That sounds good. And then we do um, we have, we do a sherry and a maro blend to give like a little bit of bitterness to the cocktail. Mm. Um, amaro is like an Italian aperitivo that has again a lot of herbs, a lot of spices. Um, is used as a digestive for medicinal purposes. It was originally made to like solve like stomach problems. Oh, okay. Um, Again, another healthy drink. Oh, yeah. There you go. We made since the early 1800s. I like how 
great, especially with this one. You using your roots and what your stuff from your childhood to come up with some new ideas. Mm -hmm. That's really fun. Yeah, I try to every cocktail make give it a story. Yeah. So it's like meaningful. Um, we're just gonna top off with a couple ice cubes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I see why you win awards because you <laughs> really, really do a deep dive into a lot of these yeah. spirits and, and how they you actually. Know, every, every, every spirit, every beverage has like a meaning to it. Yeah. So here's what we do is we're going to peel the orange okay. and, and then get the essences of the orange peel Love that. Oh, in the okay. cocktail. All right, so this Ooh. is you, this is you, girl. Here, I got this one. Here you go. You sure? Yeah. You want to try this one? Okay. And one cool fact for this cocktail, we use our own house bourbon Ooh. that is made for the hotel. We collaborate with Jepsons, the same people behind Malort. Oh yeah. You guys are familiar with that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So they make us our own bourbon too. Oh, that is so nice. nice. Yeah. Thank you so much Absolutely. for joining it's us. A we pleasure. appreciate it. Uh, Hotel Zachary is right there on North Clark Street. Make sure you follow their social media handles and the website, hotelzachary.com.